Flashlights. You either love them, hate them, or really love them. You combine the power of the sun and, um, flash, you get flashlights. Add flashlights to guns and you get operators. Think about it, every single operator has some sort of flashlight on their gun. Look at this little goober, he has more flashlight than gun. Whether it's combined with a laser on a 25mm mount, every operator has to have a flashlight. And guess what? You combine Roblox with operator, you get BRM5. So of course, BRM5 has to have a lot of flashlights, and it does! It actually has more attachments than Deadline for once. So now that we've come to the end of this incredibly elaborate intro for BRM5's flashlights, time to actually talk about them. And you may be thinking, there isn't much to flashlights. All they do is light up stuff, and you would be partially correct, except that they fail at that in every single way possible. Now that isn't entirely true. BRM5's flashlights work. Sometimes. Mainly in first person, because the devs are actually thinking about PvP for once, making it easier for everyone to use their flashlights that they most definitely use every single game. Okay, jokes aside, the flashlights are broken. In third person, that is. In first person, they actually work a little bit too well, going past every single object like it doesn't exist. That issue is how I found out about this, and decided to make a video on it. So it defies physics in first person. What's the big deal? That is where the rabbit hole goes so much deeper. First off, the part where it actually does cast iron sights and anything else in the way only works sometimes. As for the M4A1's handguard and barrel, it would 100% cast a shadow here, yet for some reason it doesn't do it as much, and I can prove that. You can see how in the game, if you take the M4A1 and put it on the rail at the very back, you can see the shadow only goes a tiny little bit. However, if you take my airsoft replica, put a flashlight at the very back rail just like in that one, you can see that it goes to almost half of it, and the barrel that I have is actually shorter than the one in-game. So the flashlight mechanics of BRM5 are not realistic whatsoever, however that is a very minor problem compared to what we're about to cover next. Editor's note here, I also learned that the MP5 handguard does not work whatsoever, just wanted to throw that in here. So it gets far goofier than simply being a little bit unrealistic, and some may even say game breaking. So say you're being a little bit of a goober, and you sniffed a little bit too much glue today, and you accidentally put your grip in front of your flashlight, rookie mistake, and then, you know, you join your open world expecting to, you know, use your flashlight, get your use out of it, and then you see this, and you're instantly scarred for life and quit beer and five immediately, rookie mistake. But I would genuinely love for someone to explain to me how this works in beer and five, because I have no clue whatsoever. And this is only one of the three kinds of grips that I found, and I've only tested like maybe five of them in total. The other one is where it cuts off half of your grip, simply because yes. So I guess it only includes the actual attachment part to the Picatinny, not the grip itself. This one I found most commonly in the RK2. Then the third one, it completely cuts it off at close range and then lets it exist in far range again. This one has worked for just about every single grip that I found, including the folding grip and the RK2 grip, those ones I covered in the previous two. Only in this one instance here, I was struggling to actually keep the flashlight on in third person. I had no clue why, but it only was on for a split second and turned itself off, and then went straight to the not existing in close range, so it is extremely goofy. And then sometimes it just decides to pull a first person and exist through the grip, so I don't know. Flashlights are extremely goofy when it comes to grips. I put sights as level 3, or the last one, as they are the most unpredictable out of anything you can combine flashlights with. Sometimes they work as expected, and they just cast a shadow how a normal sight probably would. Other times you get things like this, and it is just unpredictable and goofy. I don't know how else to describe it. So I think that one's probably the most unexpected, I would suppose. I don't know. It's just an interesting mechanic that I don't understand much and that I just want to document and put out there so that other people that know way more about Weird and 5 than I do can fully flesh it out and see why. I have my theories, of course, but I don't think any of them have any structural soundness whatsoever. So that is it for this video, see you guys later, and thanks for watching.